copy a case um, which uh, you have saved as JPEG files as DICOM files within OSIRIX uh, with the complicating factor being that this is going to be a case with uh, multiple series, it's going to be an MRI brain with five separate series and uh, we're going to use the JPEG to DICOM uh, plugin for OSIRIX um, but before we do any of that um, let's bring up our case um, so we've got a number of JPEGs here um, and before we even go into Cyrix, uh, for reasons that will become clear, um, we need to rename these JPEGs so that we can clearly identify which belong to which series. So if we click on this one, um, this is part of the Axial T2. Uh, and having looked at this case before, I think I know that the Axial T2 is finished at number 497 there. Yeah, they do. And then it goes on to diffusion weighted. Um, so I want to rename all these files, uh, selected them all by clicking the first one and then shift and clicking the last in the list. Um, and a much quicker way to do that than to uh, do it by hand um, is to use Automator, which uh, will be built into any Mac. And if we use Automator to create a new workflow, um, so Automator is good for doing repetitive tasks if you've never used it before uh, and we are going to give Automator specified finder items so we'll drag that there um, and we are going to ask Automator to rename those finder items for us uh, it says do you want me to duplicate before renaming them uh, don't in this case um, and then from the top of the rename menu, drop down and make them sequential. Um, so, first thing to do is give it the specified finder items that you said you were going to give it. So, I'll just drag them into there. Uh, very important that they are in the correct order, which I've checked in these files. Um, they have to be in the order because it's going to be made sequential depending on the order they are here, not depending on the order they are uh, supposed to be in. Um, so, how are we going to make them sequential? We're going to give them a new name. This is going to be Euro case 2, um, but we need more than that. Uh, we need to know how to identify this as a separate series, so we're going to call it this. These are the Axial T2. Um, and uh, another important one is uh, if there are fewer than 100 uh, then make it two digits long. If there are fewer than ten, it could be one digit long. Uh, but just make sure you don't have to repeat digits because then the order will get messed up. Uh, then I'm just going to hit run. And they've all disappeared um, because they're alphabetically now listed here. Uh, well, I won't, won't display the whole name. But uh, Neuro Axial T2 slice 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I need to do that for uh, all five series, so I'll just do the rest uh, a little bit quicker. So, command A to select all of them, we don't need them anymore. Uh, so this looks like the diffusion. And the diffusion goes up to 805. Don't know whether these are B knots or whatever. Just label it as DWI. I know there's only one uh, diffusion sequence. Um, so I've dragged them all in in order, changed the name it's going to rename to Neurocase DWI, run that. Uh, so I've got my Axial T2, it's got my DWIs, all in order. Command A, select all and remove them, we don't need them anymore. The ADC map, which only goes up to. One. Let's bring that across. DC. Uh, 
Oh, I should have actually checked this box already. Hopefully it won't make a difference. In here we have got some T1 pre and T1 post contrast, so where do we pre-end? Pre-ends there. Axial. And that should leave me T1 post contrast. Run that and just in case of any ordering issues, which I don't think there will be. No, there won't be. Uh, but it would have been better to do that 0 1 to 22 and 0 1 here. Um, Think that will be fine. So uh, we can close um, Automator. Um, it will give you the option to save it, um, and you may want to save it as a sequential rename. And then the next time you double click on that workflow, it will just open up already looking like that. It's very useful for this and also for numbering photos or something but I've already got a copy of it um, so I don't need that so I have my case uh, let's so let's launch Osirix Thank you. So I'm going to put this into a, a database that I'd already created uh, in the manner that um, a video on the website shown. And rather than using the import, um, I'm going to select plugin uh, JPEG to DICOM. So everything's nicely uh, nicely laid out for me here. Um, so I know that I can select all of them. Um, some text in here from what I've been messing about with before when I was testing this. Um, so I'm going to call patient euro case two. Call it whatever you want. Um, Patient's ID, I normally leave that blank. And a study description, um, study description, well, it's an MRI head. Uh, so the important thing is that you've got the series within the actual name there, which we'll find out why um, shortly. So anyway, open that. Um, and because these are just JPEGs rather than DICOMs, they actually copy in extremely quickly. Uh, so, Repeat. In fact, post contrast uh, has appeared before the pre contrast. Um, for alphabetical reasons. But Osirix will uh, we'll just order them in the order you drag them in. So contrast first because they've got the same name they popped up here in the same patient file so on t1 pre post same patient name nature of the description
if I can load the DWI. Okay, so I've now got my five cases, um, sorry, my five series. They're all individual. Um, they have reverted to, it would appear, an order of their own, which I can't drag to change. That doesn't matter. Um, so now if you double click to view, you've got the cases there separately. And because we've named them, when, when I was naming them in Automator, we put the series description in. I know that's the DWI, that's the Axial T1 post contrast, ABC, etc. So you can flick between them as you will. Um, so I was thinking about how we could go uh, even further. And I think we could use the anonymize tool for this. So as you drop them down, is there a way of changing the series name? So for example, just pick that one line. Thing off. Apart from series description and call this DWI, which I won't call anything yet, save that as change series. DWI place. Hopefully, that's all it should change. There we go. That's now labeled as DWI. Anonymize. Change series. C. Okay, so let's hope, kind of doing that, learning that as I went, um, but ah, there we go. So we now have our five studies and it doesn't have the name uh, that we gave it with Automator anymore, so it's slightly easier to read. Um, the, the date of birth there, which I entered in the time of the study, I guess if you didn't enter that, that would, wouldn't be there, so that maybe wouldn't, uh, that's not the date of birth, that's the date of acquisition um, that might make it a bit more clear but hopefully that should be how um, we get JPEGs uh, of multiple series cases onto um, Osirix and uh, just in case you're worried that it didn't seem to be doing the usual copying thing where it copies the files to your database we can show it in Finder the entirety of neural case number two is nested within my MRI head database. So it has copied fully into Osirix. And if I delete this folder, which I copied it all from, it will still be there. I uh, hope that was helpful.